you eight steps for a solid LinkedIn profile which will allow you to get headhunted. Step number one, we wanna make sure you have a solid profile banner image where it shows your name and it also shows your job title. That will allow you to position yourself as a more of a high level expert. Step number two we have is the profile image. A profile image, you wanna make sure that you have a nice professional picture, suited and booted, which allows you to show that you're ready for business. Last thing you want is a wedding picture or you know where you're out with the mates, where you're out with the lads on party. You don't wanna show those type of pictures. They're personal pictures, leave them for Facebook. For your LinkedIn profile, you wanna show that you're ready for business. So always have a professional picture. It's worth investing in one. And that can simply be the case of where there's some nice greenery, blurred background, suit and booted, looking into the camera. It can be a headshot image or it can just be the, the top half of your body. Step number three we have is the actual headline. You wanna put all the keywords in the headline section. So for example, you can put down business analyst, you can put process analyst, you can put down continuous improvement analyst, and you can put all the relevant keywords in there. But you wanna make sure that you maximize this area because you wanna make your profile to be extremely searchable. So it's important that you maximize this one area. Step number four we have is the feature section. So this is, gets quite interesting. You wanna be able to show uh, tastes of your work up front. And the best way to do that is by presenting images. You can put recommendations in there. You can put some of your posts in there. If you've created a presentation, you can share a lot of things in the featured section. And so it's quite important that you do that. You can even share your CV in the featured section. So it's really, really good that you do that. Step number five we have is the actual experience itself. So you wanna make sure you've only put a high level overview there along with some key achievements. You don't wanna state your key duties and you don't wanna go into too much detail because you want them to actually contact you and you want them to reach out to you and ask you for your CV. The best thing to do for your experience is just state a high level overview and make sure it matches your CV as well. Step number six we have is the education section. So you can have a really good education section in there which primarily just states high level overview of your university. You don't need to put your high school in there. You don't need to put your college just as far back as your university or any professional certifications that you may have. And step number seven we have is the actual key skills section. So make sure you only add words in there which are relevant to your craft. Now don't be the jack of all trades, be very, very specific with the key skills. And when you go on other people's and endorse their profiles, they'll go back on your profile and they'll also endorse your skills as well. Finally, we have the eighth point, which is your recommendation section. For your recommendation section, make sure you reach out to all the people that you work with and you ask them for a recommendation just to leave say a few kind words on your profile itself. The more you have of that, the more credibility it gives your profile. And it shows that, you know, you know what you're talking about. It shows that you're well connected, you're out there. And more importantly, it just it increases the level of trust in, in you, essentially. So uh, make sure you gain as many recommendations as possible. More creatives just like this, follow my profile.